Hello once again everybody, this is Kenny Thompson doing some of my earlier videos. Uh, hopefully my uh, YouTube channel will pick up more after this. After this video is over, or before the video is over, I really don't mind, if you can click the like and subscribe button so I can get more videos up and you can find all kinds of cool art videos that I hope to promote later on. Now we're doing this one because it's the week right before spring break and guess what's around the corner? St. Patty's Day. So I figured we'd do a cool little drawing here and everybody could just join in. You'll need a pencil and you'll need some coloring tools. For this one, I'm just using a simple color pencil set. And some of you are like, wow, that's simple. Yes, that's simple to me. Give me a break here. Okay, so don't judge me. Some of you are judging me right now. I, I could sense it through the camera. But we're going to start off with a very basic shaped cauldron right here in the lower portion of our paper. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do just a oval shape for the top and the opening. And now I'm just going to come to this side on here, the left side. I'm going to do an S with a short top. And it curves back. So it already looks almost like a vase. Very simple little design. Now if it doesn't look quite the way I'd like it to, because I'm also kind of doing this at an angle, I can go back and do some corrections. Corrections are perfectly fine. Bob Ross would say we don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. Yeah, well, I don't know how many of you are happy you make accidents. But, I'll do whatever corrections I gotta do. And I'm not going to color this cauldron. I'm going to leave it blank. I am, however, going to add a little bit down here. Just some tone right at the very bottom of it. Just to give some simple depth. Nothing serious. And I'll just rub that with my finger. And rubbing this just kind of helps smudge it, smooth it out. I might bring it up here a little bit. This is perfectly fine. I'll erase to harden this outside edge here of the shadow because I want that to be a little sharp. All right, that's the hard part. I'm going to give you a little bit of time just to get caught up if you haven't already because I'm going to have pauses in this video. Now, if right here, it's just a simple little oval. If you think about it, this down here is another oval. If you just do one oval on top of the other, the same size, you have the top of the cauldron right here. And then down here, it's just a big, much, much wider oval, to say the least. Worst time to have a sneezing fit. And I'm just going to erase the lines I don't need, because again, I don't need them. Much like I don't need bills, I don't need extra lines. And yes, I am going to be saying a lot of lame jokes. Because, meh, I'm a father. My wife is over there laughing at me while I'm doing this video. Now the cool part about this is we're going to make this a little bit magical up here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to just erase the top part of the very top line of this cauldron because I want some room to do some stuff up here. And all I'm going to do, swirl motions. Just starting from right here and they're going to kind of build off of one another. They'll collide, they'll trap and overlap one another. And look what they're starting to do. They're starting to overlap and create new patterns. It's pretty neat. I might start up here with one. I might start over here with another. But look at this right here. This is pretty neat. And just having some fun with here, I might want to take out some lines because I don't want this to be too crazy. So now I just got to pick some lines I don't want to keep. And I can just pick any ones I want. And this is going to make these shapes a little bit bigger so I can fill them with more color. I'll have some small ones here. That's fine. But for the most part, I 
Now what I do want to put in here in some spots is I just want to put just some little more magical shapes in here by putting little circles. Now this is not serving any other purpose other than just giving texture. And maybe some depth of field, some differentiation of pattern. Now because I want repetition from up here to down here, from the background to the foreground, I'm going to add some of these little shapes down here. And some of you are probably thinking, well what's that going to be Mr. Thompson? What is usually around these kind of things? You guessed it, coins. These down here will color later. These up here will leave blank. So now we just got to do some coloring. And all you got to do is pick a few of your favorite colors. And me, because it's St. Patty's Day, I'm definitely going to start with green. But what we're going to do is the top of each shape is what gets the color. And I like to fade it down a little bit every time. So just pick spots where I want this green to be repeated. And why is a bunch of people suddenly messaging me? I have no idea. Maybe they're wanting to see the video too. Mr. Thompson, we can't wait to see your video. We're going to hit your messenger so many times until you give us attention. That is a pretty bluish green. I love that color. I'm probably going to come up here with just regular pine green up here is what this one is. Now remember, for my uh, younger kids, remember you got to color inside the lines. Make sure you're definitely being careful with your lines here. But I want to show you a neat little trick with this once we're done, which is why we're only adding patches of color. Because the further I color down each shape, I'm pressing softer and softer and softer and softer to where it's barely touching the paper. And I get a good, what's called, gradient. And at the very top, I want to hit it hard. I want to hit it heavy with that color. On purpose. I got these little shapes. I want to go around them as best as I can. You know what? I feel like using purple. Just because. Right here. Ooh, that's cool. So, insert time lapse video. So, right now we got a pretty neat little thing going on here. Uh, one thing I think would be pretty important to do right now before we forget is go ahead and coloring these little doohickeys down here with yellow. <sighs> Still a sneezing fit. I guess I'm allergic to videos. But coloring in these at the bottom yellow. Don't color these at the top. Leave those empty. But what we can do now is with the eraser we can try to erase some of these lines, the pencil lines. So if you have an eraser like this, that's great. If the eraser you have is just at the end of your pencil, that's good too, okay? Either or, okay, it is potatoes, potatoes. If you have your own little separated uh, eraser, that's perfectly fine too. But now, here we go again, another time lapse and magic. So we are almost done with this guy. Okay, now we, I've erased the lines on my circles because now we can just pick whatever color we want in those little spots. What I like to do is try to pick something that I think is just really will stand out. And we're going to go with this solid color. And you can use more than one. 
Why not? It's your picture. I'm going to sound like Bob Ross in a minute. This is your world. This is your picture. Just add happy little things to it. I don't know how much I sounded like him right there. Half the stuff I'm saying is just to make my wife laugh over there. And it's working. And all this just looks incredible. It looks really neat. And now just for some final little touches. I'm actually going to add a little bit of shadow inside this right here. Just along the edges, just kind of coloring in. And as I get closer to where the color is, I kind of stop what I'm doing. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. It just gives a little bit more depth of field. Makes it look like something's coming out. But what I will do down here, though, or at least up here, is I'm going to add just a few more little touches. Little plus signs. Just along the side. Little itty bitty little indentations. And maybe occasionally the plus signs might have one piece of it that's a little bit longer. Might have a little third little mark in it. This is simply because I feel like it. And I'm just trying to make it look magical. So, and down here at the bottom if you wanted, you could add words like Happy Valentine's Day, make this into a card. Otherwise, this bad boy is finished. Don't forget to always sign your work. If you use a symbol like I do, you just put your symbol at the bottom. Or, if you sign like a mad lunatic like this, it's not like anybody's going to not know whose that is either, if you become popular enough. One little thing you don't have to do, but I like to erase outer edges of surfaces that I know are facing in direct light. If there's shadow over here, I like to really lighten this side of its hard line to make this seem more implied. Implied meaning you could tell there's a line there without it like being really obvious. So it's not very dark. Again, not something you have to do, but makes it a little more interesting. Okay guys, I'm Kenny Thompson. Hope you enjoyed it and keep making artwork. I mean it. I'm pointing to you. Yeah, you. Make more artwork. Yeah, yeah, you, you, that's trying to hide. I see you. You don't know it, but I see you. Bye.